Hello, Joe Chiron here again for RCT, Remote Certification Training, and today we are going to go over our VFL, our Visual Fault Locator. Okay, this is our most basic tool used in fiber optics. Uh, it is used for continuity and finding faults in a fiber. It's got two modes. It has a mode that's on. Not sure if you can see the little red light there. And that's a constant. And then you hit your modulation button and it flashes. Okay. So this can be used for single mode cable as well as multi mode cable. So before we get testing, I'm going to throw on my safety glasses. Safety is always important when working with fiber optics. So I take a multi mode cable here, take off the dust caps. I insert the ferrule in the two, this is a 2.5 millimeter uh, universal adapter on the end of this VFL. Now you can get adapters that go onto this that go down to 1.25, but in our demonstration, we're going to just be using a 2.5 millimeter cable. So we put it in, we turn power on, and you can see here now that the light has gone all the way through the cable and come out the other side. So we have continuity. We know that this cable is continuity from A, side A to side B. We don't know if there's how much loss is through the cable, but for the most part, we know this cable is good. So now I'm going to turn on the modulation button, and you can see here how it is flashing. That kind of helps out sometimes when you can see it flashing on and off. You can detect that there is still continuity. Okay, so I'll turn that off. So we saw the multi-mode cable. I'll throw in a single mode cable just so we can see that it operates for both cables. And so you take the dust caps off, insert, turn it on, and you can see here the same thing. We have continuity through this single mode cable. And I will hit the modulation button and you can see how it modulates. So again, works on single or multi-mode. So I'll, I use this really as a continuity checker. Now what I want to do is I'm going to show you, we got a pigtail here. I'm going to show you how we can find faults. So we got a pigtail here with nothing on the end and just a connector. Doesn't make a difference if it's single mode or multi-mode. So we go through here, we turn it on, Put the power on, and you can see it's pretty distinctive that it's glowing right here. So we know that there's continuity in this pigtail. And we'll do the modulation just for the heck of it, and you can see that it modulates. So now we know we have signal running through the entire fiber here. So here's one thing. See how when I bend this, and I'm exceeding the bend radius of the fiber, you can see how we see some light. It's leaking out through the cladding into the outside jacket. And you can see, hey, there's something there. And that would indicate if you had a bend in the fiber just as this, you would be able to detect that with your VFL. We still have continuity. We didn't break anything, but we can see the, put it down here, maybe you can see it a little better. So when I relax it, you're going to see that goes away, and we still have continuity. So I will turn it off. Now what I want to do is I want to get another pigtail. We're going to test this other pigtail here. Again, we took it out of the box, thinking everything's good. We turn it on. Oh. What do you see here? You see a fault here or light leaking in here and you don't see any light coming out of this end right here. That indicates that there's a break right there. So this would be, this is where a VFL would come into play. We can even modulate it and you can see how that turns on and off in the modulation. So we definitely do not want to use this pigtail in our splicing application we would have to get another one. So that's the basics of how a VFL is used to detect faults. 
and to check for continuity. Thank you.